Hello everyone, today I'm going to show you guys how you can install Tailwind CSS on a fresh Laravel installation. It's a question I've been getting a lot in the comments and I thought I covered it on today's video. So let's get started guys. First step is for you to actually go ahead and create a Laravel project or have an existing project to follow along. I have already gone ahead and created a new Laravel project. As you guys can see, I have a fresh install over here. So that's going to be the first step. The next step is to actually open up this documentation page from the Tailwind CSS website. We need it because there is there are a couple of commands that we need to run and I don't want you guys to memorize them. Uh, it's best to always refer to the documentation and copy them here in case they change. It's also easier. They are quite long. So I will have the link in the description, but if you want to find it yourself, either Google Tailwind CSS Laravel or go to the Tailwind CSS website. At the top navigation menu, click on Docs. And then once you're inside the docs uh, on the left sidebar, there is a quick search. Click on that and search for Laravel, okay? And you should be able to see this link. Click on it and bam, you are where we started, okay? So that's going to be the first step. Go to the documentation and create a new Laravel project. Now on the documentation, there are two guides. One is for using wheat and the other one is using Laravel Mix. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, since Laravel 9, we had a switch to WIT. So I'm going to be using WIT since that's the most up-to-date version and many of you are going to be using WIT. So let's go ahead and follow along with that. The next step is for us to actually install Tailwind. Okay, so there are going to be two commands that we are going to run. The first one will install uh, Tailwind CSS, uh, Post CSS and Autofixer. We need all these, all these packages. And then the second command is going to set up our config files. Okay, so we need to go ahead and run both of these. Uh, you can just click on this copy button on the right side. So let's go ahead and run copy that and then move over to your project and paste it in the terminal. So I will go ahead and do that. Paste it in, hit enter. It will go ahead and install that. All right. Once the installation is done, uh, it will also go ahead and create two new config files for you. So scroll down. There should be two new files, one called postcss.config.js and tailwind.config.js. So open up this tailwind.config file. This is going to be tailwind config. Now we need to actually make some changes for it to work with Laravel. So go back to the documentation, scroll down on step number three. You can either copy the internal config, but for us, we need to go ahead and copy this content section, as you guys can see. So I'm going to copy this, move over to the config file, and basically replace it with the content that is already there, okay? So by the end, your config file should look something like this. And all this does, guys, is it tells Tailwind where to find our Blade or HTML files. Because Tailwind tries to be smart and minimize our CSS file, it only includes the CSS classes or utility classes that you're actually using. But in order for it to do that, it needs to actually go through all your HTML files. In our case, Blade files and see what you know CSS classes we have used. So here we are basically telling them, hey, inside our resource folder, which is going to be over here, we are going to have a bunch of files. That's what the start star does. Go through all the directories and then any file with blade.php extension with .js or .view. If you don't use Vue.js or you don't have any JavaScript files, you can technically remove these, but I'm going to keep them just in case I decide to add those later on in my project. Save that. So that's going to be step number three. Next up, we need to go ahead and actually import Tailwind CSS in our app CSS file. Okay. So go ahead, copy these commands or these three lines of code. I'm going to copy them. Go to your project on the resources, CSS, and then there should be a file called app.css. This always comes with a fresh Laravel install. Open it up and paste these three lines that we copied over here. Okay. These are going to basically import Tailwind CSS for us so we can actually, we will have access to them. After that, we basically just need to go ahead and run npm run dev. This will go ahead and compile all our CSS, or if you have any JavaScript, JavaScript assets, minimize our CSS files and make sure it's ready for production, okay? Now this one is npm run dev. This is for development. There is also another one called npm run build. So right now uh, I'm gonna first do npm run build, npm run build. This will generate our uh, JavaScript and CSS files for production, but that requires you to run it every single time that you make a change. If you do npm run dev, it will kind of set up a server, a look for any changes and update your CSS and JavaScript files live. Okay, so for now I'm gonna go ahead and have it be .dev. So 
So it's looking for changes in the background. And then after that, we need to actually go ahead and include or add our CSS file using width. So the command is already over here. It's going to be at width or basically the width directives in blade. And then we need to tell it, hey, go ahead and include this app.css. So I'm just going to go ahead and copy this. Go to our uh, blade file. Now, if you have a template, you need to add this to your template. Since I'm on a fresh Laravel install, I'm going to add that on our welcome.blade.php file. So this is it. I'm going to remove everything so we can actually test this out. So I'll remove all of these. I'll remove all the existing styles. So we know this is a fresh setup. Okay, I'm going to paste that in. And that's all we have to do. Okay. And if I go ahead and I reload, as you guys can see, now we get a blank screen, but the installation is done. So to test it out, we can go ahead and add some, let's say text, let me add here. And I'm going to say test tailwind, and we can go ahead and add some classes. Let's say I do text uh, gray 500. Maybe we can give it a BG blue 500. And just like that, let's save this. Because we already we were running npm run dev, it automatically detected our changes. So right now, if I go ahead and I make another change, let's say I do border, let's say gray 50, something like that. It is going to automatically realize that we made some changes, reload the page, and also recompile our assets. So now I will go back and I will do a reload. And as you guys can see, the changes actually took effect. Let's change this from gray to white. So it's actually visible. And as you guys can see, it automatically updated it for us. Just like that. So that's it, guys. We can do border 2. And now we have a border as well. Let's change the border color to yellow. And let's make it yellow 500. And as you guys can see, now we have a border as well. So that's the process, guys. Uh, just go ahead to the documentation and follow these steps. Create a new Laravel project install tailwind using npm add your blade files to the content section in the tailwind config basically include tailwind inside your css file or app.css file and then run npm run dev or npm run build to compile the assets so on your local development you're probably going to need to run npm run dev on production you want to run npm run build okay that's it guys i'm going to close this npm run uh, dev let's do that so i'm going to stop it now since i stopped it if i go back and i reload we kind of lose everything so if i want to make sure this available there i'm have to go ahead and run npm run build okay and that's all we have to do all right so now if i reload as you can see it is done just like so hope you guys enjoyed today's episode if you have any questions you can ask me in the comment section below Again, if you want to add any config, you know, uh, changes to your Telvin CSS, just come over here in this config file and include them here. Even if you want to add dark mode or anything else, you can just come and change it here. And that's the process, guys. See you on the next episode. Have a great day. Bye.